What does John do? John, what do you do? I work for uh, Highway Baptist Church here in well in Westville. And yourself, uh, Mark? I'm with the Foreign Mission Board, Southern Baptist Convention. And uh, I'm, my assignment is here with the Natal Baptist Association as a uh, campus chaplain. Campus right, right, minister, right. Yes, uh, yes, student yes. minister. Yes, yes, Mark. Yes, sir. Yes. That's a nice place. So we are all in the same field. <laughs> I think so. But uh, we might have different goals, you know. Uh, or the means of attaining them. I guess so. Different means of attaining them. Yes, it's a privilege for me to be honored with two giants, you know, oh. the Christian world. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know whether we, you may be the only person that would say that of us. <laughs> so we're giants. Yes. It's friend. certainly a privilege for us to be uh, with an uh, unquestionable giant of the Islamic world. <laughs> you no, know, my office is open to all, at all times. Uh, actually, people don't make appointments, and I don't. I also don't make appointments, because then you tie yourself down. Uh. To me, anybody comes along there and says, right, what am I doing? So, no, I'm having to let them come in. Welcome, welcome. Uh. Yes. That's good. No, I'm entirely at your disposal. Good. Entirely at your disposal. Well, you, you said to me on the phone the other day that you, uh, you did see the, the tapes of when uh, my other friends were here. No, I didn't. I think my son must have told you that. Oh, is that your son? My son, yes. The young man. Okay. He's my son, yes. I see. He must have said, that. Yusuf, did that. So you didn't get the first word. Yusuf. 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 Did that. So you cut the word, did that. Yeah. Like yours, Mark, I'll catch the word, uh, name Mark, John, yeah. and the rest, of, yeah, now, you know, the things that turn, I guess, turn. Okay. But now, again, this, it'll be difficult because I didn't hear a name like that before. Right. So this okay. is how the mind works, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, Mark, I, what can I do for you? Well, um, my interest and in, uh, the interest, uh, uh, maybe I need to give you some background on please, wh please, why please. I would be here. Either. Yes, yes. Mr. D. Dot, but, yes. Uh two or three weeks ago now, while you were in uh, on your trip overseas, oh, it, yes. uh, we had a news correspondent who was here from, um, uh, he lives in Nairobi, Kenya, but he works for the same foreign mission board that I work for. Right, right. We also had a photographer, and then right. one of their superiors were here. Right. They were interested in writing a story. Yes. On the Islamic Propagation Center. Yes. And finding out if we could some of your methods of training and teaching and some of your goals and that kind of thing. Not in any kind of way to expose for any kind of counterattack or any of that, but just because we're interested in the nuts and bolts of your very aggressive and uh, certainly very effective approach. I, I would say no, not aggressive. You say militant would be <laughs> more appropriate. Militant, yes. Okay, militant. Uh, so like Jesus Christ. I said, you know, he was a very aggressive person, according to the scriptures, calling people generation of wipers, you whited sepulchres, you wicked and adulterous generation. I said, terrible for a man of God talking like that. Uh, so I said, no. But now I would say, well, uh, according to your records, uh, he sounds very, very aggressive. Uh. And he's actually going out looking for trouble. Because when you call the leaders of your nation, the religious hierarchy, wicked and adulterous generation, even in common parlance, you know. So how you translate that? Mm -hmm. This is a wicked and adulterous generation. So it's terrible, terrible. You know, the man is actually uh, looking for a showdown. Mm -hmm. So if he gets what's coming to him, I say he deserves it. So, however, it's a militant. Militant, I think. Islam is militant. Mm -hmm. There's no apologies for that. You see, the Quran tells us to tell you and the Jews. Qul in Arabic means say, we are told to say, tell them. Ya Ahl al-Kitab, so O people of the book, O Jews and Christians, la taghlu fi dinikum. It says do not go to extremes in your religion. In your religion, whatever you believe, don't go to extremes. Wa la taqulu ala Allah illa al-haq. And don't say anything about God except the truth. Innam al-Masih, most certainly the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus the son of Mary, Rasulullah, is a messenger of God. Wa kalimatuhu, and a word proceeding from him. Al-Qaha ila Maryam wa ruhum minhum, which he bestowed upon Mary, and a spirit proceeding from him. Fa'aminu billahi wa rusulihi. So believe in Allah, God Almighty, and his messenger, Jesus. This is the true position, that he is a mighty messenger of God, he is the Messiah, believe in God, 
and his messenger, Jesus. So we are told to tell you both, Jews and Christians, don't go to extremes about Jesus. The Jews in the Talmud, they say, that because he had no earthly father, actually they insinuate that a certain Roman soldier by the name of Pandera, he raped Mary. Have you come across that before? No, I'm not familiar with that. Not familiar? You read Josh McDowell? Uh, not Josh. Right. Now he has written a book, Further Evidence That Demands a Verdict. Uh -huh. He had the evidence that demands a verdict, and then he wrote another one, Further Evidence. Further evidence. Yeah. And in that he quotes Jewish Talmud, where they're calling Jesus a bastard more than once. Is it? Yeah. That the bastard, son of Pandera, the bastard. This is quoted by your campus crusade, yeah. the leader of the campus crusade. No? Uh, Bright. No, 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 or by Josh McDowell. Uh, no, yeah. Josh McDowell is quoting, quoting from the Jewish Talmud okay. that this is what the Jews say, that he is the bastard child of Mary, raped by a Roman soldier and gave off as the son of God. The Christians, they say, that because he had got no earthly father, his father is God. So we are told, he says, no, they are both going to extremes. The Jew is going to extreme, telling the Jew, don't go to extremes in your religion. You Christians don't go to extremes in your religion. The true position is that he's a mighty messenger of God. He was born miraculously. We are made to accept that I think you know. The Quran tells us that he was born miraculously, which many modern day Christians, including the bishops of the Anglican Church, they don't believe today in the miraculous birth of Jesus. We believe. And that he gave life to the dead by God's permission, he healed those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. So look, this is the true position. He is the word of God, he is the spirit from God, but he is not God. Don't go to extremes, you don't go to extremes, you Jews, you don't go to extremes. This is the true position. This is our standpoint. So we are told, and this language of the Quran is militant. See, this is not soft soaping, so you know, uh, please you Christians, don't interfere with us. You know, we pray five times a day and we don't drink and we don't gamble and we fast for a whole month. You know, leave us alone in peace. No, no, no. We are told to tell you, mm. you Jews and Christians, don't go to extremes in your religion and don't say anything about God except what is befitting, the truth. So, Islam is a militant religion. The Quran is a militant book. But when you say aggressive, I think that term is not called for. That's all. Okay. Militant, okay. Militant, yes. Islam is militant. It tells you, it tells me to tell you, Wala takulu thalasa. Don't say Trinity. Now, this is the language of the Quran. Telling me to tell you, don't say Trinity. Wala takulu thalasa. In tawu khairul lakum. This is, stop it. It'll be better for you. Inna mallahu ilahum wahid. For your God is one God. He's not three in one. So, we are told what to tell you. This is not out of trying to be different from you or trying to f score points on you. This is an article of faith with us that we are supposed to tell you, rectify you. Don't talk about Trinity. Don't say that Jesus is God. You're going to go to hell. The Quran says so. You'll go to hell. <laughs> so it is my duty if I, my people didn't do it. If they didn't do it, we are at fault. We haven't done the job. But when I see what I see and I understand, very, very, you know, so, so succinctly put, we have to share. But in the process, you are feeling that the guy is attacking you. 